Sometime in the spring of 2010, I found myself at a board meeting and I needed something to do to maintain my equanimity. And I learned how to make the African flower hexagon motif. And that made it possible for me to get through the board meeting. And then once I had gotten through the board meeting, I just wanted to continue making the motifs. And so I was looking for any possible use. And one that I came up with was a soccer ball. And I made a soccer ball using this motif to commemorate the 2010 World Cup. In order to make the soccer ball, I also needed to devise a pentagon. And this video is how to make the pentagon that you can use with the African flower hexagon motif to make your very own soccer ball. So I'm going to start with a worsted weight yarn and I will, for demonstration purposes, be using a 5 millimeter hook. Normally with a worsted weight yarn I would use a 4 millimeter hook for the soccer ball so that I would have a nice firm fabric, but um, for the purposes of demonstration it's easier to see if I use the larger hook. And the yarn in question is a worsted weight Red Heart Super Saber, and it's pale yellow. So you start by chaining five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you join it into a loop. You may find for your own purposes that chaining four works better. And then you begin, the pentagon itself is a total of five rounds, and you're going to begin by chaining two, and that counts as your first half double crochet. And you're going to make another du half double crochet, and chain one, and then you're going to do that four more times. So that's the third half double crochet, the fourth. the fifth, the sixth, <clears throat> our third chain, the seventh and eighth half double crochet, okay so now that we've completed the first round we need to join to the first stitch made which was your chain two and now my preference in this instance is to just slip stitch over. And I'm going to slip stitch over to the first chain one that I made. And in this next round I'm going to work two half double crochets, a chain one, and two half double crochets in every chain one space from the previous round. So that count, that's a chain two that counts as my first half double crochet. So there's our first cluster, and now we're just going to go straight into the next chain one space. Work two half double crochets, a chain one, and two more half double crochets. <clears throat> now we're ready to go to our third chain one space, and again, two half double crochets, chain one. Two more half double crochets. So when we get done with this round we should have five chain one spaces and twenty half double crochets. And now we're ready to join it to our first half double crochet, which was just a chain two. So now we need to move on over to our chain one space, and we'll do that by way of slip stitch. And we're going to make a half double crochet, and again, that the first one is made by chaining two. And then we're going to work six additional half double crochets into this chain one space. Okay, now 
I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm one, two, let's see. All right, I got that right. You don't really want to make a mistake there. And so now we'll just work seven half double crochets into each of the remaining chain one spaces. That's four, five, six, seven. So we have a total of 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. Crochet is great for learning your multiplication tables. And we will finish up here with seven more, and that should get us to 35. 33, 34, and 35. And we are going to join it with a slip stitch to the second chain of that chain two where we all began. So what I like prefer to do it sometimes for a single crochet is to substitute a chain one and that's what I'm going to do here. So chain one, that's going to be my single crochet that goes with this stitch right here. Now I need to work six single crochets into each of the next half doubles. And then let's see, no, this is not where I do it. Yes, it is. Okay. Then I work a long single crochet. I go over the third round and the second round, that space there, and I just work a single crochet. Now here's where I often make a mistake. Sometimes I end up working my single crochet into this second stitch. You need to make sure you push it back and you work into that first stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you work a long single crochet. You go over this row and through that space. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, when you get done with this row, you should have 35 single crochets and five of these long single crochet stitches. Three, four, five, six, seven, and now this long single crochet. And here's another place I tend to make a mistake. I get so excited that I'm at the end, I like join it, and then when I go to piece it together, I have a stitch missing. So anyway, you want to remember to work that last long single crochet. And then, here was my chain one. I'm just going to join it right here. But now I need to move three stitches over. So I'm going to slip stitch here. One, two, Three, and I'm going to chain two for my um, first half double, and then I'm going to work another half double stitch and a chain one. Oh, 
Oh, no. My mistake. What I'm going to do, I moved over to that center stitch. I'm going to chain three. That counts as a half double crochet and a chain one space. And then I'm going to work another half double stitch into that same space. Now I'm going to make seven half double crochet stitches, one in each of the next single crochet. So that's two, three, four. See that fourth stitch is in your long single crochet? Five, six, seven. <clears throat> now you work the half double, chain one, and another half double. And again, another seven half double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> We're ready for that sort of corner treatment with the half double. Chain one and another half double. Now we're ready to do the seven half double crochet stitches along the third side. Three, four, and again that fourth stitch of the side lines up with that long single crochet stitch. Oh, we're nearing the finish. Another half double chain one, and a half double crochet. <clears throat> Again, one, two, three, four. I live near an airport and I'm outside right now, so you might actually, that what you, sounds like a plane, that's actually a plane. Ah, uh, we're just about ready to work that last row. Half double, chain one, half double, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Oh, all we have left to do is join to the second chain of our chain three. And then we just get the scissors, trim that end, pull it through, and all that's left to do is weave in the ends. And then when you have 11 more of these and your 20 hexagons, you will be ready to make your very own soccer ball.